Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, today we are going to answer some comments and at the same time we will answer some Muhammadan, uh, the genius one. We will not answer the one who is not genius. You see, uh, I like genius people. It's like, I don't know, I have a, it's like my hobby. You know, since I was a kid, you know, I like genius. So like we will go around and see some geniuses and uh, you know we will learn from oh, 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 what is that uh, this is a different video uh, sorry for that uh, yeah we will go and learn from some geniuses and uh, you know we will uh, uh, but before we start uh, you know like uh, a muslim said to me uh, why you say the word uh, idiot and i don't know really what to say I mean, this is not my video, so uh, this person appear in my screen, but he is not what we want to talk about. How to talk to Muslims? I always learn from Muslims how to talk to them. I wish I can speak like you. And I don't know. I have kept my cool with these people for way too long. It's not in my nature uh, to, to, to stoop to the level of every single barking dog. I just don't do that. I don't respond to stupidity and foolishness. As you're all aware, this is not my style. I do not attack people by name. Unfortunately, I have to break that rule for this one lecture. And just for once, give these idiots the smackdown that they deserve. People like Jay Smith or David Wood or uh, their ilk. Certainly, I don't feel uh, towards him like he feels towards us. What the hell? I mean, <sighs> these idiots, they are untrained, ignorant people. They are untrained, unqualified, ignorant, arrogant individuals, arrogant income poops. They have no integrity. I want to stop and I'll stop with the income poop. You know, this one income poop by itself is a movie. I mean, they are income poop. Hmm. And this is why he will not answer them because they are income poop. I mean, this is a good reason. Think about it. If somebody is income poop, are you going to answer him? No way. Is income poop? I mean, it's even very well known between many nations that like there's an agreement between there's a there's a United Nation of income poop. Uh, you know, it's uh, created in income poop. Yeah. Uh, it says an agreement between countries that if uh, you know a can poop, uh, you know they don't answer the income poop and they don't refute the income poop because uh, simply they are income poop and uh, you know yeah. So anyway, the Muslim they, they talk about uh, I'm saying the word idiot or stupid or something. I mean, look at you, you know the Muslims. Your prophet he call us pigs, monkeys, dogs, animals, worst of the creatures, uh, filthy and nudges. Uh, uh, kuffar, infidels, I mean all names and, uh, and even he says if somebody don't agree with you go and tell him uh, you know by the uh, uh, penis of his father and then they say to me why well, you they are utter fools ignoramuses just listen to them and you know that they are utter jahil so okay let us see who is the utter jahil so now we will stop here with this guy uh, his insulting machine because simply he have no answer all right. We will go to some comments of the Muslims. And let us see who is the ultra jahil. You see, the Muslims, they use the word jahil. And jahil means illiterate. And yet they follow a man, he is illiterate. And not only that, we show you in the previous video how the Muslim discovered that the Prophet was a genius. It's a miracle, actually, because he was able to repeat three letters which is unusual for someone who believe in Islam in the beginning of the surah what are the first words alif lam mim thalika al kitab thalika al kitab what does alif lam mim mean people what no, does it mean we don't know alm alm what does it mean i will tell you all lies matter hmm. allah allah knows Allah knows. So this is insulting us. We are ignorant. We are stupid. We are dummy. We are blah 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 blah. And you are following a prophet who says stupid things, and Allah knows best. What does that mean? And so Allah He sends you a book, and you know you don't understand what He's saying. So why He sent you the book? Allah knows. Okay, but what is coming is even more hilarious. No, no. 
Nobody knows. You know why that's important? Why? For many reasons. Uh -huh. One of the reasons is that before you study the Quran, the first thing you need to know is that you don't know anything. Exactly. <laughs> and what about after study? You still you know nothing. Because here we go. You said to me, after all your study, you don't know what those... <laughs> And yes, Rakadi calling Christians ignorant in Kampoop. In Kampoop? In Kampoop. In Kampoop. ALM. ALM. In Kampoop. ALM. In Kampoop. ALM. 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 I mean, this is God talking. When God is say ALM, everybody shut up. That's it. God said that. But look what happened after. Go ahead, Mr. Income Poop. The first ayah tells you what you're worth. Uh huh. You know nothing. You know. La ilma lana illa ma alamtana. And if you don't have that attitude, you cannot understand the rest of the Quran. Well, well, nothing we know except what you taught us. And what he taught us, we know nothing. <laughs> Income Poop. Quran. Forget it. <coughs> But I understand this, did the Prophet وسلم, did he know how to read? No. Are you kidding me? Like what? Sure he don't know. What's wrong with you? And that will make him go under the category of ignorant income poop. Ignoramuses, just listen to them and you know that they are utter jahil. So do you understand why it is insulting for someone like me to have to get involved with such a crowd? I have nothing to do with uh, these cretins whatsoever. Uh, there, there's a okay. I mean, uh, what is funny, by the way, is Jay Smith, like he is, like he is, uh, he, like he feels sorry for you. Like, come on, man, just laugh. Take it as a joke, you know, come on. What he can do? I mean, he can't answer you. Okay. An awful lot of uh, words that Yasser Khadi used that, that were quite strong. Uh, I'm not going to use those kind of words. I don't think it's appropriate. Uh, certainly, I don't feel the... Hey, come on. Just uh, don't make it a drama. I just love, man. Towards him like he feels towards us. Listening to people like, like Jay makes me realize why there are still people who believe the earth is flat, you know? Stop. There is still people believe in the earth is a flat. Is that Muslims? <laughs> hey Muslims, I saw one of the comments of you saying that we Christians believe the earth is a flat. And one of them, he said actually, that the earth is a cir flat, flat as a circle. <laughs> oh, just, it's funny how it's a circle and it's a flat. My, my friend, first of all, the word circle is not a surface. Circle is a shape. There's no surface. It's called circle. Circle is a shape. Like there's 360 degree uh, dots around a center. It's not a circle. Secondly, so you admitted that the Bible says in Isaiah that, that God, he created the earth as a globe. Now, if we go to the Muslims and ask them, who is the one who believed that the earth is a flat? Let us go first to uh, Shabir Ali. Welcome back. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question, visit our website, Quran's. Me, me, me. I want to visit Shabir Ali, but you know, I, uh, but Shabir Ali, he will never answer me. <laughs> they ask him, uh, I don't know, one of you, he was in the debate, he says to him, uh, this is a $1 million question. When you are going to debate Christian plans, uh, and then he said, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, if you I don't know uh, uh, Christian plans, <coughs> uh, 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 he is he is a person who <coughs> uh, 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 he do uh, 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 kind of a radio <coughs> show program, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. Not true. Sure. 
Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali. Let us see. You can answer any question you want. The mic right there. Hello? Yeah, I just came to ask the million dollar question. Uh, Shabir, when will you, uh, will you ever debate Christian Prince? Thank you very much. Yeah, I, for those of you who don't know Christian Prince, uh, he is uh, a, a personality who has been uh, operating some sort of an internet radio broadcast, as far as I can remember. Uh, he contacted me a long time ago. Uh, I never contacted him. I oh, yeah. ago asking if I would debate him, and mm. I said yes. Uh, uh, and, and He said yes, and then he said no. <laughs> Anyway, skip this kid. Skip him. You know, I feel sorry for them. They knew they would lose their career if they dare to speak to me. Okay, so who is the one? That, there's a question here in the program about, uh, is the earth is a flat in the Quran? Sabir Ali is going to answer you. Okay, Dr. Shabir Ali, here's a question. Does the Quran indicate that the earth is flat? No. In fact, there are some passages which uh, some Muslim scholars have in, uh, interpreted as meaning that the, Quran, the, the earth is flat. Uh oh did, did, you, what? did you just hear what he said, Muslims? Some Muslim scholars. So who, who? Some Muslim scholars give interpretation to the Quran that the earth is flat. Some. Not all. You are not a scholar, you know that, right? So the question is, why Muslim scholars who speak Arabic very well <laughs> they give interpretation for the Quran that the earth is a flat. So some Muslim scholars, uh, Shabir Ali, he said, it's a true story. Just some, not all. Is flat. No, in fact, there are some passages which uh, some Muslim scholars have in, uh, interpreted as meaning that the, Quran, the, the earth is flat. But those passages just simply uh, has the purpose of um, indicating that God has made the earth livable for you. Okay, so how come when we Christians, you Muslim, come to us and they say the Bible says the four corners of the earth, we say this is a figure of speech. You say, no, 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 no. You are saying in the Bible there is a corner. You are saying in the Bible there is an edge. You are saying to the Bible there is, there is, a, there, there is an end. The earth have an end. Uh, you are saying, in the, so how come suddenly, suddenly, I mean, do you see the double standard? If this is your standard, go with it. So suddenly now, Allah is making, I made the earth flat for you, just where in the like, you know, where you live, you know. Live a little, he, he live the earth for us. Okay. So it's a nice flat surface. I love it nice. I love it nice and uh, flat. Yeah. Uh, by the way, admins, uh, admins who they are in the chat, I just remember. There's a woman, she come in the chat and she posts stupid things. Her name starts with Eka. Anytime you see her, block her. Block her. Somebody told me that this woman last time in the before I go live, uh, she posted in the chat that I proposed for her. <laughs> oh Lord, let us go back to Shaiver Ali. This is better. I mean, I'm telling you, women are dangerous. You have to be careful. You know, I mean, unbelievable. I mean, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come on. What's wrong with people? Flat surface is sir, it's, is is way easier to deal with with dealing with uh, with the with the uh, oh boy. Anyway, so anytime you see this uh, crazy person, just block her, okay? Immediately. Uh, we go back to the flat earth. Oh boy. Is where you are, but uh, if we think more globally, the Quran speaks of the earth as uh, something that is actually round. For example, God says, "You cover layla al nahar, or you cover the nahar al layl." This is what exactly I call making poo life on air. He just quoted for a verse in the Quran. The verse proved that Allah is an idiot. Look what he just said. Listen carefully. How? Shabir Ali will prove to us that the earth is a flat. Listen carefully, Muslims. It's not me who chooses this verse. This is the only verse in the Quran. This is the best. Proving that the earth is not a flat. Listen carefully. 
يكبر النهار على الليل God كبر الليل على النهار ويكبر النهار على الليل God coils the day around the night and the night around the day and uh, the the whole act of coiling indicates that we're dealing with uh, a spherical object in fact uh, it's almost like a man wrapping a turban around his head that's mm -hmm. what he does so he uses the same uh, verb uh, the, um, the, the the idea that the earth is uh, shaped like an egg is uh, apparently indicated in the verse which says well arda ba'da dhalika dahaha here here you learn why somebody is a certified donkey this kid Shabir Ali. He is taking this word that this is the word mean an egg from a guy he is not even 21 years old. He was trying to refute me. Do you see how stupid those people are? I mean, this guy, he claimed to be a sheikh. He's growing a beer. He have a program. He go on TV. He claimed to be a doctor. And then he say what something said by a kid. There's nowhere in any Islamic book, any Islamic book. Challenge to all the Muhammadan. It says that the word the haha mean shape of an egg. So if we challenge Shabir Ali and we say to him, where you got this word from? He will say to you, I found it in YouTube. <laughs> now let us go to the first verse and then we go to the second verse. All right. This is the verse he chose for us. Chapter 36, yeah, sin, yeah, is a word mean God. Sin is the God sin. This is the name of, the, this is the other name of the moon God, Allah. If you ask the Muslims what yeah, sin mean, they will say Allah knows best. Like what the heck with this religion? Okay, why we have a chapter, it's called yeah, sin. Sin is an, uh, we use it today in English presenting the pagan like the when the, when the latin language established when somebody do something wrong they say to him this is sin don't do it the sin all right which means this is pagan so sin is the pagan god the moon god you can go right now and search on google sin the moon god yeah is a word mean god so why allah called himself by yeah sin didn't know then you will see you will notice right away that the moon god the whole chapter is speaking about what speaking about the moon speaking about the sun speaking about how they uh, run in order supposedly so if we read together here in this chapter from verse number 39 37 sorry let us zoom out so you guys can read and sign to them is, is, is the night. We would have drawn their form the day, and behold, they, uh, they are darkness. 38. And the sun runs into a fixed course for a term appointed. That is the decree of the Almighty. Okay, let us stop with this one first. If we ask any Muslim in the chat, what does that mean that Allah, he make the sun run to a fixed course? Any Muslim, any Muhammadan will help us? What this chapter 36, verse number 38 saying? Anyone? If there's any Muslim would like maybe to call me too, I can open my, my uh, pal talk for you. <coughs> Let me open my pal talk. By the way, I don't feel good, you know, so, but I, I decided, I said, Today is Saturday and people, they, uh, you know, they, they need to laugh. I mean, what we can do? Speak about Islam, people die laughing. What is that sound? This is from Pal Talk? Man, that's the new technology. Okay. <clears throat> uh, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, the, this must time each time I go uh, uh, on air, I can block him, by the way, but I don't want to block him because maybe I can get him one day, you know, to play with us, you know. Sometime you need her. You are bastard liar. There is no proof for that you are a liar. You idiot, you just say there's no proof that I'm a liar. I mean, is that English? And Islam will dominate the world. 
and you uh, be our slave once again. Hmm. This is Islam. You will be our slave once again. Do you see it, people? Good luck with that. As I know, our American base is all over the Middle East, my friend. I mean, I didn't know what are you talking about, commercial from Palto. And your word mean nothing. Okay, and then he says to me, I hope you and uh, your family die painful death. You know what? What is I'm afraid of is not the painful death. I'm afraid to be a Muslim and there's two angels will come to me and they will ask me three questions. Who's your God? <laughs> Idiot. Okay, let us go to the second uh, Abdul. I tried to call him, by the way, but, you know, it doesn't work. Let me block him because obviously this is no, he's no customer. He just want to call names. Um... Let us see this one. Why you call me? Because why you text me? A Muslim saying to me, why you call me? <laughs> Let me block you then. <laughs> I mean, those people are already up. It's a comedy. Why you call me? Okay, a greeting from the Philippines. Thank you, my friend. Uh, maybe one day. Uh, I wanted to debate you. Maybe one day. That's deep. I mean, that's deep. Hello? I wanted to debate you, but not uh, now, uh, late. Uh, maybe one day. Okay. We wait for the one day to come. Another Abdul. Is uh, that Abdul? Your end will be very terrible. Seek forgiveness from Allah. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you think my end will be terrible? I will I will die by po uh, 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 poison, uh, uh, rat poison from Home Depot? Like what happened to your prophet? What do you mean? What do you mean? Honestly. Your, you know, uh, your end will be terrible. Okay. Okay. This is why I'm, you know, I'm running away from women so they can put for me a rat poison in the food, my friend. What's wrong with you? Don't you see? Think about it. Think about it. So there is no Muslim to debate me what I can do. Let's continue. So we ask the Muslims how you can explain to us chapter 36, verse number 38. And this is what uh, uh, Shabir Ali was quoting for us. He was quoting those verses and the verses after it. Muslims, who knows what the Quran is saying? You or the Prophet of Allah? Mustafa, are you there? Where are you, Mustafa? How come you are not sharing with us your knowledge? By the way, Mustafa, um, I think I'm making, I'm going to make him an admin. He is the one who said to us that his prophet was lost. Do you remember it? It's just in the video, last video. That video last it? The one before it, I think. Yeah, he said our prophet was lost. He was lost. He was lost. 40 years being lost. He was worshipping idols and watching cartoon. Hello? Okay, how come Muhammad was lost for 40 years and Jesus was not lost for a day? No answer. Hmm. Now, any Muslim want to tell us, Antinella, don't make me give up. Honestly, I don't feel good. I, I have a, I like a, <clears throat> let me explain to you what I, I feel like now. Um, I don't know if I have Corona or not, but I feel like I don't feel right, you know, something not uh, something fizzy, you know. But I don't think I have Corona. I think I have Cora and Ona, you know. It's not Corona. It's something like clothes, you know. I don't know what is that. Yeah. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> because I'm not coughing, you know, but I don't feel comfortable for some reason. And even my number one is not working in the keyboard. He will go. What do you want to do? I mean, the things they come together as a disaster. Like all disasters come in the same time together. So. Any Muslim can tell us what the chapter 36, verse number 38 is saying, that the sun run to its fixed course. <clears throat> Anyone? Nobody? Mm -hmm. I'm really disappointed. What will make me convert to Islam? I will tell you. I will be honest with you. 
I mean, I don't like to be honest usually. It's against my uh, Muslim belief uh, because I practice taqiyya always, alhamdulillah. But I will tell you what can make me convert to Islam. I mean, you ask for it. Eh, deal with it. This is a brother. What's wrong with my keyboard? My keyboard is not working fine. Look at this keyboard. Look, what happened to this keyboard? Look, I'm typing the words. It come as letters. Look, look what is that? What the, look what? My keyboard is messed up. I need to buy a new one. And those are expensive. Those, uh, mean, hold on. Let me see, try to fix it. Oh boy. What happened to this keyboard? I thought only number one is not working. Turn to be everything is not working. Okay. We can't even type words now in Arabic. You can use number from num book. What do you mean by num book? Like when your hand feel numb or something? I mean, come on, you are talking to an Arab guy and you are telling him num? <laughs> come on, don't do that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let me see. I will change the keyboard in my screen, in my uh, setup. I will delete this Arabic keyboard and I will add a new one. Okay. Hmm. No. Let us try this one. This one is not working too. But you know what? It's okay. I'm, I don't know what to do, really. Uh, how we can type now? I don't want to use a screen keyboard. That's disappointing. Okay. Let us take off this keyboard. How we can modify keys, modify keys, restore default. Okay, we did restore default. Okay, um, text shortcut input. Okay, let us see. This is the first time it happened to me and I'm like, I don't know. And okay, until now number one is not working. Number two is working, number three is working. But number one is not working. Okay, let's see if we type in Arabic now. Oh. Sorry guys, I apologize. Unexpected technical difficulty. Um. It's not typing Arabic at all now. And it's switching automatically, let's see. Uh, automatic switch. Automatic switch. Okay, go right. No. No. I know what happened. Look like maybe we have to stop our broadcast for today because this is um, very important for me to use the Arabic uh, keyboard you know all our references in Arabic and you know you know the thing you know the thing you know <laughs> you know the thing like come on if you don't know the thing okay I will show you the thing hold on come on just talk man go vibe why this thing is not working? What happened? It's even worse now. It's, it's not even typing any Arabic letter. This is what happened when you give your computer to an Arab guy to fix it. 
Okay. Mm. You will bring me and uh, call me, bring me out of my religion, Ibrahim. Uh, Ibrahim, uh, you need to find me first. What is the name of Ibrahim? Is it Ibrahim or Abraham? One verse in the Quran says Abraham and the other verse says Ibrahim. What's wrong with you Muslims? Find the correct name. Anyway, yeah, I would take your call. Hold on, let me try to fix this thing, uh, Ibrahim. You're a genius. I can tell, by the way. You're not like your brothers. You're different. I think you're an alien or something. Okay. Let us take off. Turn off the computer restart. I tried that before I came live on air. That's why I was late. It didn't work. Let us add Arabic again. I will take it Arabic again and add Arabic again. Hold on. Hey, my friend, if I restart my computer, I will lose you. There's no point. Um, let us see. Okay, let's try now. We added a new Arabic. Arabic PC, still not working. Oh, hold on. No. What's going on? You know the thing? Do you think my uh, keyboard is broken? <clears throat> Let me switch. Okay, we turn off the automatic switch. Look like it's working now. All right. We turn off the automatic switch, but still number one is not working. But at least we can continue. All right, here we go. Sorry for that, guys. There is an option, automatic switch. We turn it off. We can type in Arabic, but still number one doesn't work. So the Muslim who says to me, uh, Ibrahim, he says to me, uh, what can bring you to Islam? Some I don't know which my name. Uh, I say to you, my friend, this is the thing. Look at this. There's nothing in this religion that makes sense except big boobs. Honestly, the day I saw this in front of my eyes, I did not see the boobs. Don't take me wrong. I mean, this is Allah talking now. Talk is cheap. We don't know if they are there. Maybe they are even balloon. You never know. But Allah promised those who follow him, women with big boobs, take a beer. It's time for a beer, actually. I mean, who is going to promise such a promise save God? I mean, think about it. You have uh, the God of the Christian uh, Christ. He don't promise us any boobs. And you have Allah who have... Okay, I don't want to talk about it anymore because already I feel like I have a fever. Let us stop here. And you are telling me you want to bring me to Islam. And what, what, what Islam? I go. This is porn. What is the? What is that? By the way, why you call this chapter the chapter of Annaba, which means the news? You, instead, you should call it the Big Boob chapter. Because this is the big news there. That's big and boobs. Big boobs. Or you can call it the booby. You know? Anyway, let's go back to our topic. So we were asking the Muslims when Shabir Ali was quoting this verse in the, from the Quran. Let us go back to Shabir Ali. Uh, question and answer. When Shabir Ali was quoting this verse, Muslims, and he mentioned that the earth or the sun, sorry, it ran to its, its own course. What is the explanation for that verse, that the sun goes to in its own course? Anyone? 
Anyone know it? What? So all those Muslims heroes who they refute me, and not even one of them can tell me. When the Quran says, and the sun run to its course, what does that mean exactly? Anyone want to help? Hmm. And look, Shabir Ali, look how, look, see how he uses his fingers to describe for you how things come, look. Using fingers is a sign of scholarship. Not all people use fingers, you know? I mean, when the first time I came in the USA and I was driving in the highway, and, uh, you know, and I was slow in the highway, you know? Uh, and then American, they start putting their hand up and they have a, a finger. I said, oh, man, I'm very famous here. Everybody's saying hello. And I was saying hello back. Hello. <laughs> Shabir Ali, what are you doing? That verse in the Quran is speaking about the earth is round. Where, how? Muslims, shall we use the words of the Prophet explaining the verse or the words of Shabir Ali, who do not know how to say two words in Arabic? No, in fact, there are some passages which uh, some Muslim scholars have in, uh, interpreted as meaning that the, that the earth is flat, but those passages just simply uh, has the purpose of um, indicating that God has made the earth livable for you. So right. it's a nice flat surface where you are. But uh, if we think more globally, the Quran speaks of the earth as uh, something that is actually round. For example, God says, you kawiru layla ala nahar, or you kawiru nahar ala layl. God coils the day around the night, and the night around the day. And uh, the, the whole act of coiling indicates that we're dealing with uh, a spherical... I mean, don't talk about the word coiling, because each time I, rem I, you know, I, I, I hear it, I remember what your prophet says, that shaitan, he coils himself around your penis. When you do boom, boom, if you don't uh, say the prayer for Allah. I mean, now your wife, she is in the bed, she is waiting for you, like, honey... And now it's time for say, Allahumma zindab na saytana wa ma zindab na saytana wa zindab saytana ma razaktana wa ziyadi. Allahumma zindab na saytana wa By the time you finish the prayer, your wife, she will be snoring, you know. And now supposedly your private part is secure. So don't use the word coiling. Please. Don't. It is case sensitive. Now, just to show you how those people, they lie to you. The verse he proved to us, or he caught for us, proving that Islam is a fraud. How we knew that? <clears throat> uh, can you explain the verse? Uh, no problem. You see, the Bible says clearly that the Earth is a is a not cycle. It's not a circle. It is a globe. And how we knew that, you know, the position of the insect or the animal was chosen to describe how it sat in the top of it. So, in the same time, our book is not a book of science. And the one is talking there is meditation, speaking to God. Uh, so, we can use this to say, okay, the Bible is a book of science, but we don't, and we don't care, because Believe and science, they don't work together. And we'll make it simple for you. When the Muslims and the Christians believe that Jesus is a son of Mary and have no father, which science approved that? Is that scientific? Here you see the hypocrisy of those who call themselves Muhammad. And when they want science work, when they want, they don't want science. So what you try to say to me about the Bible saying, first of all, is a prophet saying. Secondly, the prophet saying clearly, the globe of the earth. Number three, Number two, he says it is hang on nothing. Hang on nothing. While your Quran saying it is lifted by pillars, and I can show you. If we go to chapter uh, uh, Qaf, ver chapter number 50, verse number uh, one, we will see how the Muslims explain how the earth is made, or how the, made, the earth is, uh, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is hanged up. You will see they believe that Qaf is a name of a mountain which is surrounding the earth. It's an azure mountain overlooking the world and the color of the sky takes from it. Allah swear by it, swear by it. So there's an azure mountain 
surrounding the earth and the sky in the top of it. If you go to the Quran, you will see the following. You see here we speak with the proofs, you know, you can say whatever you want. When when a prophet of God, he meditates, let's say I say, uh, thank you God, you made the earth for me uh, uh, flat. Even I can use the word flat. I'm talking about where I live, right? But when God, he says, I made the earth for you flat. And he repeat that many places and he make it so clear. It's not a prophet meditating to God saying, thank you for the tree. Thank you for the water. Thank you for the spring. For, thank you for the birds. God saying in the Quran. So now, if we go and check what the Muslims are trying to say to us, you will find that everything they're trying to say to us, it's in their book. It cannot be, it cannot be that the earth is a flat in the same time it's a globe. That is impossible. Until today, we use the word like figure of a speech. Until now, the four corners of the earth. People, they come from the four corners of the earth. But there's no corners and as you see the bible is saying that it's a globe so how it's have corners and it's a globe so you can you know you because you are a muslim you are desperate however you see i will show you your prophet explained the quran not a scholar not assumption not uh, i am suggesting not you guess i guess no so if we ask the muslims Okay, we will see that uh, the, the, the God. We will see if uh, your prophet says that or not. If we ask the Muslims, and we are asking them actually about the verse, the verse which, uh, the chapter which Shabir Ali was quoting, the sun run to its course. Any Muslim would like for the volunteer to call us and explain to us the verse? Any Muslim? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim would like to call? I have my uh, pal talk open and I see Muslims texting me. Who want to explain to us this verse? We just heard Shabir Ali using this chapter, saying this chapter is speaking about the earth going in a, the earth is round. And there's an orbit. Anyone? Okay, hold on, hold on. You see, uh, uh, Dangor? Okay, just to show you how Muslims, they try to refute us. I just said, if a prophet is meditating, saying, okay, the earth is a flat, I can say he is meditating, he is thanking God for what he have around him. No problem, I can let it go. But I am saying, your prophet explaining the verse. He is not meditating, he is explaining the verse. So what we will do? Which explanation we will take? An explanation of somebody in YouTube or the explanation of your prophet? Which one of you he knew the Quran meaning better? Do you see the hypocrisy? I'm not saying Muhammad saying so. I'm saying that Muhammad explaining the Quran. He is not meditating. He is not making a poetry saying God is wonderful. He made the earth for us as a flat and he made the sky come in the top of us. No. If I show you your prophet explaining the exact verse, do you accept his explanation or not? Sure not. Because the explanation will show everybody that Muhammad is a fraud. Let us go and see the, in the interpretation for the verse, which Muslims don't want us to read. They don't want. Let us see. I hope the keyboard will work. It's working. Here we go. 
First of all, your prophet is the only prophet who mentioned something in the Quran and he explained it in the Hadith that the sun set in a muddy spring. I was behind, sitting behind the Messenger of Allah, SAWS, this is like a form of FEM TV station, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said it set in a spring of warm water. Do you see it? Do you see it? So you're a prophet. He made it clear. And this is Sahih. He made it what? He made it clear that the sun set in muddy water. Uh, <clears throat> is it Sahih or Daif? It says Sahih. Okay. This is in total agreement with the Quran. Okay. Uh, thank you. Why you don't call me, my friend? So I can hear you and people, they can hear your opinion. And we can, okay. Guys, look what Mr. our friend Dengal. I don't know, Dengal, and what language is that? You know, what's your nationality, my friend? With my respect to you. What is your nationality? Are you Indonesian? I will use your words as a guide of a study. I hope you don't mind. People read what the word of Mr. Dengal. Dengal, he said, not me. Dengal, he spoke, not me. Dengal, he explained, not me. Smile. Because you just got your prophet busted. Chapter 36, verse number 38 is a talking about a phenomena phenomena Dumbergar. Okay. A pheno uh hold on. Phonema. 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 Ah, okay. The sun is heading to its destination a modern day science affirm that the sun is heading a part a, a, a particular direction known as apex of the sun wonderful be my witness let us see the apex of the sun where your prophet he says that direction is the murky water Come on, guys, I'm just joking. And look what he said. And this is the interpretation for the verse, Abdul. The quotation you said to me that science, modern science, this is about the, the sun is going to end and the end of the time, like, you know, the sun will die, blah, 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 blah. Your prophet talking about the sunset every day. Read carefully. This is your prophet and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Who's talking? Your prophet. Explaining what? Chapter 36, verse number 38. Busted. Once I was with the prophet in the mosque and the time of the sunset. What time? They can know it, Dengal. Dengal, don't do Dengalo and leave. Because we are waiting for your apex. Because your apex is really amazing. In the time of what? In the time of the sunset. Take a note. Oh, I forgot you are almost time. You don't take notes. You have a great memory. You know, you memorize the Quran by heart, but you can't understand it. That's amazing. Okay, do you speak Arabic? No. no. So in the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, O oh, Abu Dhar, the father of the ant, do you know where the sun set? Dangalo, focus with me with the question. The question is not about where the sun will end one day. Abex, Mr. Abex, how, how is Abex doing? And look who's talking about Abex. Unbelievable. Look how many how many volunteers are teaching me how to say the word. Hold on. Phenon, phenon, menimena. Is it pronounced as fi nam mina? Okay, this is easier. Okay, guys. So fi nam. Oh, hold on, let me put it in the screen so I can read it better. 
Right, that's fast. Smile. Thank you guys for uh, volunteering to tease me because I have difficulty to say certain words like hamburger and damburger. Yeah, so, okay, to say the word, okay, well, what we say, hold on. To say the word correctly, you have to say, uh, to say the word, uh, fi nomina uh, is pronounced as fi nom min ah. Okay, guys, come tomorrow. I will stop practicing. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm just joking. All right, we go back. So you said that this is the ebex. And this is about where the sun will die. Your prophet is explaining the sunset. And he said, and this is the interpretation of Allah saying. But read carefully, but not read the rest. He said, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best for sure. Muslim, they associate the name of God, the, the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man because Muhammad is God. He said, and Mushrikeen, Muslims are Mushrikeen. He said, it goes and prostrate underneath Allah's throne. And that is Allah's statement. And the sun runs into a fixed course for a term and decree. And that was the de decree of the Almighty. So why you make it Abex and Tepex and Phoenix? Why you lie? Are you making fun of your prophet? How come you Muslims, you made it about something called APEX, where the sun supposedly will die? When your prophet talking about the sunset, and he said with the clear words, this is what Allah meant, that the sun run to into fixed course. Here you see the deception of the scout. Do you see it? This is religion of deception. They are ashamed of their book. They change the meaning of their book and they go against what their prophet is saying. Yeah. Look how Dangle, he changed his statement. Dangle, I don't know what you will do if the police are investigating you. You are a person who changes your statement every two seconds. Okay, hold on, guys. Look what he said. This is a new statement, a updated statement from the White House. Joe Biden, he is explaining to you that you know the thing. So Mr. Dangle, he said, Abu Dar asked for the sunset and the prophet told him, eventually place of the sun, which is under the throne of Allah. You eat it. Isn't you who said this a second ago? You said this is about Ibex. Do you read? Do you know how to read? Your prophet says, and this is, and this is what Allah's statement is, and the sun ran to its fixed course. And Abu Dhar did not ask any question. You are a liar again. It was your prophet who asked Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun said? Muhammad saying that. The prophet said, oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun said? So the, the, the question is, where is the sunset? The end of the explanation is, and this is what Allah meant, that the sun ran to its course. So the curse of the sun is everyday course. The Muslim, they lie, trying to defend their stupid cult, and they fabricate, and they add science, and they try to fool you by making things up. A second ago, it was about Apex, now it's about, he's, he's telling him the sun goes under the throne. You idiot. I will go with you. If the sun goes every day under the throne, that means the sun goes. But this is not true. The sun is going nowhere. The sunset does not happen before the sun goes. And look what you just said. This is you, you, not me. You said the prophet eventually told him eventually place of the sun which under the throne of Allah. But he's talking about the sun going, the sun moving in the time of the sunset. So you expose your prophet again because simply the sun is going nowhere. Do you see it? Are you going to accept what your prophet said? 
or we accept what Mr. Dangal he said. Obviously, they are ashamed of their prophet. They don't want you to see this. You will never find one Muslims going around and say, oh, this is how the prophet explained this. They make false article fabricating the meaning of the verses so they can fool the fool. And if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? But they play one game, the ignorance. If you are ignorant, they can fool you. Very normal. Now, if we continue with Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali he was explaining the verse saying that the sun, the day, the moon, they do what? Listen carefully what he said. Because this verse again proving that Muhammad and his God are false gods. And they are the one who choose it for us. Object. In fact, uh, it's almost like a man wrapping a turban around his head. That's mm -hmm. what he does. They use the same uh, verb. Uh, the, um, the, the the idea that the earth is uh, shaped like an egg is uh, apparently indicated. Hold on. Let us stop with the first one he's mentioned. This is Ibn Kathir, and this is the interpretation for the verse, the one he was quoting. Read carefully what the Arabic mean. It says, وَكُلٌ فِي فَلَكٍ يسبحون. وَكُلٌ كُلٌ mean all. Okay, what all? Read carefully, and this is not me saying. This is even how the Muslims understood it for the last 1400 years, and now they are getting away with it. Okay. Okay, Dengalu, I, I, I accept your challenge, no problem. Guys, Dengal, he said, uh, I, now I challenge you to show me where the earth is flat. Okay, I will show you, no problem. The prophet says the earth is flat. I will show you, no problem. Just wait, let us finish this one. And they all float each in an orbit. This is what Shabir Ali he used. Means the night, the day, the sun, the moon, all of them, they are floating. So the Quran consider the day an object, the night is an object, and the moon is an object, and the sun is an object, and they are all of them, they are floating in the top of the earth, one after one. And the word Yasbahun is not an orbit. is a swimming. Why? This is from the Greek mythology that every star have a boat. If you go and watch the, the zodiac, you will see boats, you know, boats. Every, uh, every zodiac have a boat, you know. Why? Because they believe that they are swimming. Those are stars or plants, they are swimming in a boat. And the Quran adopt the same thing. So each one of them swim into a direction. And Muhammad, he explained what direction is that? This is goes under the throne of Allah, which is in the top of the water, which is a murky, muddy water. <coughs> now, don't change my topic, Ibrahim. I don't care if you believe in Jesus as God or not. Let us laugh at your prophet now. You see, they are desperate to change the topic where Jesus says, I am God. The Quran says Jesus is God. I can show it to you. Because if your stupid Quran says that Jesus is born of a woman, yet he is holy, well, that means he's, he's God and holy. Chapter 19, verse 19. The Quran says that Muhammad, in the chapter of Muhammad, he is filthy and he is a sinner. What you can do about it? Now, Dangalo, he said to me, I challenge you to show me where the prophet, he said, the earth is a flat. That's wonderful. There's tons of places. Actually, I will choose the first one from the Quran where Shabir Ali, he lied to us and he says this verse saying that the earth in the shape of an egg. Listen carefully. In the verse which says, well, After that, God uh, shaped the earth like an egg, which would be the best model. A challenge to, uh, to, to Shabir Ali. I'm not insulting, I'm not calling names. I say to Shabir Ali, if you are not a liar or you are not ignorant, choose one. I challenge you to come online and make a video and show us from the dictionary that the word the haha in any Islamic dictionary 
or any Islamic tafsir or any Islamic book you wish that the word mahaha mean egg just to show you this is stupidity of this cult I mean don't you have a shame with your gray beard to be a, an old man and you lie with no shame if we go right now and we search for the word and by the way this same chapter is a proof to us Allah again is a false God because chapter 79 is started against chapter 41 where it says the order of Allah creating the earth and the heaven but this is a different topic for now so listen carefully he said that the haha mean Allah he made the earth in the shape of an egg Muslims which translation is showing the word egg as long the word the haha mean egg how come not a single translation saying egg we can keep changing translation from now until tomorrow this is Yusuf Ali let us choose blindly uh, okay it says the opposite he spread it out he made it flat okay change what Khan second in the list blindly translation two I don't know what is that translation two uh, this is supposed not wrong ah this is what the Muslim they use when they call me they claim that they knew Arabic they read this well Arda Bada Dalika Dahaha and you think that he is speaking Arabic but he is not all right and then so as long it is an egg how come not a single translator says it is an egg where is the egg what happened to the egg who ate the egg somebody in purpose he ate the egg because he don't want the Christian to see the truth that Allah he said he made this the earth in the shape of an egg and Shabir Ali for the God for the sake God for the sake of your God Allah Shin is the earth even in the shape of an egg you idiot are we I mean we are not perfect circle yes we are not perfect globe yes but are we in the shape of an egg like hello I mean even if you try to fix it you make it more ugly and more stupid now let us see the interpretation for the scholars who speak Arabic what the word the ha mean chapter 79 verse number 30 we go there here we go this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan what the ha mean does it mean what this liar is saying or it says something else read with me carefully please let us zoom out uh oh it says and after that he spread the earth and he made it flat so imagine Shabir Ali he changed the word meaning from flat to an egg this is only happen in Islamic TV show the word in Arabic mean flat but for the guy coming from Pakistan Shabir Ali it became an egg brother how Shabir Ali he learned this from a kid he is 21 years old idiot he was making a video to refute me he made a lie and then the Muslim they keep copying it if you ask the Muslim here we go how many Muslims we have around us who can show us the reference that this is the word the ha ha mean egg shall we go to Ibn Kathir <laughs> Beautiful brother, beautiful. Re this religion, brother, cannot be explained by the scars of Muslims or by the Prophet. It can explain by YouTubers, YouTubers, tubers, tubers. Hmm. Any Muslim? Don't change my topic. Who care about Zainab now? Come on, focus with me. Focus, focus. Huh? Focus. Okay. <clears throat> and look in Arabic is totally different from the English translation. Uh, 
show me where Muhammad referred to Zainab. Yeah, we will show you later. No problem. It's in the Quran, you idiot. The Quran saying that. The Quran saying, Allah, he said to Muhammad, why you are hiding your love to Zainab? How, how, the, how Zainab, she knew about it unless he is flirting. You go up in the interpretation, any interpretation, you will see that the Prophet, he went to Zainab's house and he said to her, praise be to Allah who made my heart flip for you in your books. Go open it right now. Turkey. Now, then Galo, he agreed now that the sun set in murky water. He agreed with his prophet that the course of the sun is not apex. And it is everyday course, sunset. The sun is going, which is absolutely false, proving that Muhammad and his God are false. But he asked me a challenge, another challenge. He says, show me where the, uh, the, the prophet says the earth is flat. It's in front of you. This is Quran. Which one is more powerful? In the top of that. Let us show you a hadith. Your prophet Muhammad, he said, that Allah come down every night in the third part of the night. If the earth is not a flat, how you can accomplish this mission? Allah coming down from where? And in the third part of the night. So you're a prophet, he believed. There's only one third part of the night, and there's only one morning, and there's only one day, and there's only one sunset. And Allah, he come every third part of the night. Do you see it? Is that a flat earth or not? Are you there? How many time zone we have? How many? The day is 24 hours. How many time zone we have? Search Prophet Google. Based on this verse, your God Allah is not coming up and down. He's coming up. He's, okay, let us say for the sake of argument, first time Allah, he came down. He cannot come down again after two hours. Why? Because he will come down from where? The place where he was located is it changed. Is the earth, is the earth, okay. Allah, he come down. Where he come down? In the lowest heaven. That's wonderful. He is in the top of what now? In the top of Mecca. Okay. Okay, Allah go up. He come down again. Where he will be? <laughs> But you're a prophet saying that Allah come down every third part of the night. This is something that will happen once a day. But how many third part of the night we have around the globe? And what's wrong, what's wrong with this God, Mr. Yo-Yo? Mr. Yo-Yo coming up and down. I thought Allah cannot be inside his creation. But when you go down to the lowest heaven, you are inside your creation. Do you see how many things Muhammad he defeated by this statement? He just proved to us that yes, Allah is a creature. He go inside dimension, which he created, supposedly. Because if Allah go down between heaven seven and heaven one, he is inside them. That's mean the Muslims, they lie to us about the God Yo-Yo when they say that this God Yo-Yo is holy and he cannot be inside his creation for he is the creator. But yet Allah Yo-Yo, he go inside his creation and Muhammad saying that, not me. So the question is, how Yo-Yo God became Allah? Are you there, Dangala? This guy now he is searching for solution. Any Muslim? Anyone? <clears throat> Nobody? Uh, 
Any Muslim want to tell us about Mr. Yoyo? Yo -yo. And by the way, why Allah He come down every third of the night so He can hear the prayer? Why He cannot hear it from the seven heaven? Isn't, isn't you Muslim who says Allah is all knowing? What happened to the reception of Allah? He is using AT and T service. He have no connection in the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, so he have to come down. What is the reason for Allah to come down? Muhammad explained so he can hear you. Thank God, I am not Allah, otherwise I will spend my eternity going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and on the top of that. If Allah, the God Yo-Yo, He is coming down in the third part of the night, while you are praying in the wrong timing. Well, He just told you when He hear you. The rest of the day He is not there. So if you are a smart Muslim, a true believer, you should pray to Allah in the third part of the night. Additional to that, Dengalu, are you there? Dengala. Dengala, are you there, my friend? Because it's a special time? Yeah, obviously. This is the only time your mother-in-law, she is asleep and you can run away. Dengala, are you there, my friend? Anyone remember I taught you before what this hadith prove? There's something very important. Maybe many of you forgot. Let us see if you remember. This hadith proves something very important. Just a few weeks ago, we spoke about it. Remember when Muhammad, he took his uh, flying mule. <laughs> and then the mule took him to the seven heaven. Like, oh, okay. Hold on. If Muhammad, he went to Allah in the night of Al-Isra and Al-Mi'raj and he went to the seven heaven but as you see Allah is not there listen carefully Muhammad said that Allah come every night not like once a year once a month every night okay when Muhammad he went to heaven at night, wonderful. So Muhammad he went up to the heaven. Hmm? Vogas, Vogas with me, Vogas. Muhammad he took his donkey and now he's like, uh, yeah, you know. Okay, so he was in the earth and now he is going up to the heaven. Wonderful. So now Muhammad he arrived to the heaven. He is here. But as you see, Allah is coming down. So there's nobody in the heaven. Any Muslim? So Muhammad went to the top of the heaven to meet Allah, yet Allah is coming down every night. Hold on, Muhammad, why you don't meet Allah in the, in the lowest heaven? What? He didn't see him? Allah is small, you know, it's very hard to see Allah. Like a, a, a mosquito, you know? Like once I was sitting, by, you know, like there's a, a bunch of ladies and I was introducing them to each other, like Miss Janet, uh, uh, Miss uh, uh, whatever uh, Miss uh, 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 Monica uh, Jessica and there was a, in the table a mosquito I said mosquito they die laughing <laughs> it was Allah so small he cannot see him so Muhammad he went up to heaven and he did not notice that Allah is there and he keep going like Muhammad look in the highway man I mean Muhammad what's wrong with you don't you see the light of Allah don't the Muslim they say that Allah is light and the light of Allah cover everything? So how Muhammad could not see? And the angel, like we have an angel with him, like he have a tourist guide. Allah sent him a special tourist guide. His name is Zibril. Okay, Muhammad he could not see Allah, he is in the lowest heaven. What about Zibril? Zibril did not see him too. 
Do you think when they took Allah, I mean, when Jibreel, he took Muhammad, he put his eye like folded because they don't want to know where he's going? Maybe I saw like a, a movie, like a drug dealers, you know, they kidnap the guy, they put eyes around his eyes so he don't know where he's going, you know? And then they tortured him and he thought that he was kidnapped, but the later he found that he was still in his house. Very true story. Any Muslim? And if we want to account for you, scientific mistake in the Quran, I mean it's English. This is one of them. Okay. Muhammad, he went up. The earth is a flat. The earth is not flat, my friend. The earth is not a flat. Okay. Uh, uh, is the heaven is a sky? Let us find out. When Muhammad, he went up to the heaven, what he found? He found the Nile River and the tree of Allah. Okay, hold on. Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven in the sky or he went to Ethiopia? I was raised to the lotter tree. Okay, the lotter tree. I know, I like the lotter tree. I've been there many times. And I saw four rivers, two which they were coming out and go, uh, and two going in. Look at this, look at this mystery. Two going out, two getting in. Hey, hold on, the two is getting in, coming from where? That's like mystery. You know, don't ask questions. You know, like they are coming in, and there's two coming out. Hey Muhammad, is it possible that there's like a U-turn and those are the same two coming out again? <laughs> no, Muhammad even knew their names. He says, which is we're coming out where? The Nile and the Euphrates. Like what the heck? Muhammad, he found the Nile River under the tree of Allah in the seven heaven. I will not be surprised if this guy Dangala he come to us and he says NASA they found the Nile River in uh, the seven galaxy and what else the Euphrates where is Erdogan the one who occupied that area terrorist hmm. are you with me Muslims your God, your prophet did not go to heaven he went to Ethiopia if he if he really go anywhere and by the way, how the Nile River and the Euphrates are coming from the same source? I mean, there's like thousands of, of miles between them. One is almost in the in the in the border of Europe, in the north of Syria, and the other one is all the way in the middle of Africa. How they both are coming from the same place? Hey, Dangalo, he want to change the topic. Hold on. Okay, I like that uh, question, Dangalo. Dangalo is depressed now, and he is showing some frustration. Dangalo. I advise you, my friend, to relax, drink some camel urine, as the Prophet said. According to Islamic lecturer, that nobody need the vaccine of Corona. You need camel urine, and you will be fine. Why you worship three gods? Well, that you are a liar. We don't. Even your Quran, your liar, says we don't. Let us go to the Quran. And now he will say the Quran is not a valid book. Hmm. Are you accusing Allah to be a liar? Obviously you do. Shame on you. Read carefully with me. How you liar, you say we Christian worship three gods and Allah, he says, the Christian, they say the Messiah is Allah. So if the Messiah is Allah, who is number two and number three? Can you give me the name Dangalo? I think your mother, she gave you a name for a purpose. You are dangling around right now. So if the Quran is saying the Christians believe that the Messiah is Allah, and you said we believe in three gods. Can you give me the name of the second God and the third God? I'm waiting.
Hello? Are you suffocated? Oh, you are going. You cannot answer me right now. You have to wait for the yo-yo. When the yo-yo come back, he will give you the answer. He come in the third part of the night. Mr. Yo-yo is not here, is not available. So they lie and they say loud and clear that we Christians worship three gods. All the Bible is speaking about worshiping one God. Why you lie? That is an Islamic method of deception. They lie about themselves and they lie about us. Hmm. You just busted your Bible. If it spread out the earth, mean the earth is a flat, go and read some, etc. Okay. No, no, no problem, guys. You just, you just, uh, you just uh, uh, expose your Bible. Go and read some. Okay, my friend. If we ask you, who is the one is talking in Psalm? You will say this is a prophet of God, meditating about God. It's not God saying I made the earth flat for you. He is us thanking God how He made the earth. But this is your God saying I made the earth flat. Literally flat, not spread out. So if I am making a poetry about God, I say, thank you, God, for the tree around us. Thank you, God, for the spring of waters. Thank you, God, for the sea. Thank you, God, for the spread out earth. This is me talking. This is a man. It's a song. But it's your God talking. And now, by saying what you said, my friend, the one you said, I just got busted the Bible, thank you very much for saying that, because you just admitted with no question that the Bible, the Bible cannot be busted by the Quran, because you are busting the Quran by saying your God, saying that, while in the Bible a person meditating about God, singing for God, The, you know, in the whole Bible, you know, they asked Jesus, why you speak in parable? He said, so you may understand. So you may, you may know about the kingdom of God. Your God is not speaking in parable. And he is not meditating. And your prophet, he explained the verses. When he said that the sun sit under the throne of Allah and the sun sit in the murky water. So when you say what you say, thank you very much. You just proved to me that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. You see, the Bible says that God created the globe of the earth. You see no Christian making videos about scientific fact. And the Bible says he hanged the earth on nothing. You see no Christian speaking about science. Because so what? Let us say this is scientific fact. Let us say it's not. So what? Either you are a person who believe in science, and then you will not believe that there's a prophet, he fly over a donkey, or you are a person who believe in a science, not. You are a hypocrite. So what the Muslim they wanna do, they believe in science when they want. And they don't believe in science when they don't want, when that doesn't, doesn't sweet them. When your prophet said this, was he meditating or he was explaining the Quran? He was explaining the Quran that the sun set in a spring of warm water. So the earth is a flat and the sun goes every day, take out from the spring of muddy water, take her heat, actually Hamia, not only it's a it's a muddy, it is boiling water, Hamia. Hami in Arabic mean hot. So Muhammad explained why the sun is hot. The sun jump every day and sleep inside a spring of warm boiling water. And by the morning ask permission from Allah to come back. And this is another issue someone is asking well if the earth is not if, if, if the earth is not a flat how your prophet and your God he order you to face Mecca that's a good question 
facing Mac is a great proof that you think that it's all, all whatever. And not only that, what about the timing? When your prophet he says sunset and sun and noon time, how we can practice that in Norway or in Alaska? However, all of this doesn't count for me. What count for me is Muhammad explaining his own book, not meditating. When the Quran says something, and the Muslims explain the Quran for the last 1400 years, saying Allah, he says the earth is a flat, suddenly the Muslims don't want to believe in that interpretation no more. Why? Why it was flat for the last 14 years or 14 centuries? And now it's not, because now they discover the Quran is wrong. So now they try to manipulate the verses and say things is not there. And now I want to ask the guy who said to me, uh, read the Psalm, the book of Psalm. Do you want me to read for you the book of Psalm? Do you know even who is the one speaking in the book of Psalm? And by the way, where we can find the book of Psalm in your book, in your Quran? Hmm? Is that here the book of Psalm in the Quran? Let me show you what the Muslim they claim it's the book of Psalm. <laughs> this is the book of Psalm. Are you there, Muslims? That there's a prophet of God, he want to have sex with 99 wives, and they call them goat. And he wanted to sleep with all of them so they can go and do jihad in the morning. So the book of Psalm, which is an amazing, you know, uh, 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 book thinking about God, speaking of God, suddenly it's about a guy who want to have sex with 99 goats. Suleiman want to sleep with the women, David want to do with the, have with the women, all of them for one purpose, to do jihad. Any Muslim? There's a famous hadith about Suleiman. He wanted to do jihad. And he decided to have sex with 99 women in one night. Hmm. Some hadith says 100, you know, they bend in the liar. Let us talk about science. Was your prophet fabricating a story that there's a guy, his name is Suleiman or Solomon, he was able to have sex with 100 women in one night? Is that a true story? Even me, I cannot do it. I mean, I mean, I can maybe have 85, 90 if I eat baklava, uh, you know, 92 if I eat like, uh, you know, uh, shrimp, I mean, we can push it more like if I, you know, watch the American news. He had sex with 99 women in one night. Where is it, your science, Muslims? I mean, don't you think this guy is not really good in sex? Only 99 or 100? It's not, Muhammad is not sure. Look. Muhammad 100 or 99 look at this look how look how much he is into details deep okay how many hours the night is eight hours ten hours what is that huh how many 
hours let us say it was nine hours let us say it was ten hours I don't know what whatever make you happy so we have 99 we divide them to 10 hours this guy he was having sex with 9.9 .9 women an hour I mean, is this guy a man or he was a drilling machine? Science, what is science? I'm listening. If you say to me your prophet was meditating, that is stupid because this isn't about meditation, this is about boom, boom. And why Suleiman want to have sex with 99? Because he want to do and do jihad for Allah. And guess what happened, guys? He forgot to say inshallah before he do boom boom. <whistles> Look what will happen if you forget to say inshallah. Allah gave him birth. I mean the guy he was sweating all night. Did again, did again, did again, did again and stop. He had sex with 99 women and quarter. Six years old. And then a big mistake. He forgot to say inshallah. Allah is willing and guess what happened Allah gave him a half man look at this look at this it's a proven scientifically uh, who's calling Zakana Prince Prince first of all I want to stop you here uh, Zakana how you call me I did not hear the phone ringing this is a very Scientific method. We can call you from the middle of nowhere. Okay, exactly. How the person he had sex with 99 women. Can you explain? Very easy. Very easy. First of all, if you have a good looking person like me, and you put him in the front of 99 women, you do not need to have sex with them. They will have sex with you. Zach and I never thought about this. So can you like explain more? Very simple. Me, myself, I go inside the house and I take off my clothes and my wife, they cannot resist the temptation. And I do nothing. Absolutely nothing. I just lay down on the ground. And they do all the job. It's very easy. It, but um, Zach and I, I mean, uh, you lay down on the ground, you do it standing, I don't care. But there's something, it's called the private part. And you know, I mean, like, hello. Listen, Prince, I'm going to teach you a secret. There is a spray, it's called Fixator. Uh, it's called what? Fix the door. Uh, is that the one they use for hair? Exactly. You spray it, it's going to be good for the death of the, the coming the night. Zach and Ike, you're a doctor. Are you sure from the information you are giving me? They can strip you from your license by saying that. Chris and Prince, I'm very scientific and it's proven to be correct. Go and buy Fixator, you can find it in any library and you can spray it. And the second you spray it, will never go limp. Will never go limp. Exactly. Okay. Well, Zach and I, I think you get a point there. I think, you, you know, Zach, are you sure you are like a human like us? I mean, your intelligence is coming from behind the seven galaxies. Exactly, Clement. Allah, he sent me to giving guidance to the people because they are ignorant. And now I get you busted. Do you want anything before I go and do boom, boom? Hey, do boom, boom. Where are you going? Now? You want to boom? Because I'm right. We both like don't believe in flat earths like the Bible. So we believe now it's night. Even though the sun set in murky water. I get you about that. Take care. <laughs> How God can be father and... Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Uh, Muslim... Uh, Arrogation, Fantar, he's saying, You are de deluded. How God can be father at the same time, the son? Well, the second you say how God can be, it's mean he is not God. So you got your prophet busted, and your Muslims, you are liars when you say God is Almighty. When we say Almighty, we cannot question the might of God. You Muslims do. Why? Because you are used to a yo-yo. Your God is a yo-yo. He cannot do that. 
our God can be. Your God cannot be. And let us prove it to you from the Quran. Allah in the Quran, the you are your God, he said. Watch and laugh. <clears throat> Clear proof that Allah, the yo yo God, cannot be God. Chapter 6, verse number 101. And this is what this guy Fentar was saying. Wonderful, the generator of the heaven and the earth. How could he have a son when he don't have a girlfriend? So how you call him almighty? And now we will refute you from our book. Oh, why I want to use my book? Let me use your book, you idiot. In the chapter 19, the Quran says that Mary, the mother of Jesus, she have a son, yet she have no boyfriend. Yet your God, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Why? Because he is limited to the ability of a man like me and you but the God of the Christians he can have a son yet he have no girlfriend so what is impossible for Allah is possible with Jehovah with Elohim with Yahweh with the Messiah be my witness the Muslim they say how that can be they are witnessing that Allah cannot do such a thing he is not almighty. He cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. He cannot be God because simply he just to question his ability. Muslim saying, can God be a goat? Well, your God is a goat and I can prove it to you very easy. Why you don't call me? In the front of everybody, if I don't show you with the clear evidence that your God Allah is a goat, I will apologize from you. You want to do that? Can God be a goat? Your God is. Yes. Your God is a goat already. If we ask the Muslims how Allah look like, who is the Muslim to answer us? Okay, let's make it more simple. Prove to me that your God, Allah, is not a goat. Who want to do that? I mean, how, how simple I can make it more. Prove to me that Allah is not a goat. Abdul, Fantar, can you give me the description of your God, how he look like? Remember, you are the one who used the word goat, not me. Can you give me the description of your God to prove to me that Allah is not a goat? I'm waiting. Are you searching Google? Are you searching Google? Look at those poor Muslims, they don't know how their God looked like. They don't know. So how you confirm to me that your God is not a goat? Are you there? What happened to you? You are dead? Are you playing dead now? He's dead. Allah is A-W-T. How? Look at this madness. They say it's A-W-T. You are praying on Allah? Is it a goat? There is nothing like Allah. Will the goat, nothing like, my goat, nothing like it. And even this verse, you start from the Old Testament where it says God, nothing like him. But what does it have to do with how God looked like? <laughs> According to science, every single one of us is unique. There's no two humans are the same, even the twin. Even the twin, brothers or sisters, they are not exactly the same. Does that mean I'm God? I'm asking you about how he looked like now.
Nothing like Allah. Here you see how much weak the skull they are worshipping unknown God. Now let us see, let us help your memory to see who is Allah. Let us go. And we ask the expert. We ask who? The expert. Okay. Uh, the second question of Rami was when people pray and say, Oh Allah Azza wa grant us the ability to number of attributes that we believe in. So Allah Azza wa tells us in Surah Al-Rahman, وَيَبَقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is what I call myself and all of my brothers and sisters. Recite the Quran. Mm -hmm. Get your best knowledge from the Quran. Mm -hmm. Don't devote five minutes a day, mm -hmm. ten minutes a day to the Quran. No, I'm listening. Devote more, an hour, an hour and a half to recite the Quran and to learn. Do you want everybody to be like me? If they voted more than two hours a day, they will be like me and everybody will laugh at Islam. So don't do that. Actually, I challenge the Muslim to devote two hours of their time to study truly the Quran. You will die laughing. And now listen at the description of Allah who Muslim cannot describe. Listen carefully. What it says at the same time. Now, in the Quran, Surah Al-Rahman, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he is the last without an ending. Azza wa Jal. He is the creator of the all, uh, uh, what you see and what you do not see. Especially what I don't see. I mean, he is the creator, that's it. What is the proof? The proof that he said that the sperm comes from the backbone of the man. And the woman, she have a sperm from her ribs. And there's hail coming from mountains in heaven and the sun set in murky water. And in chapter 79, he said that the, that the opposite of the order of the creation from chapter 41. Obvious, he is the creator. He knew what he created. Continue. And he's not created, and he does not die, and he does not have an ending. Yeah, yeah, he, he, guys, he does not die. Allah does not die. Shouldn't you prove to me that first he's alive? What is the proof that Allah is alive? Nowhere. Muhammad never saw him, never spoke to him, never shake his hand, never heard his fart. You know nothing about your God, except what this guy will say to you now. Listen carefully. Tell us how Allah looked like. Thing, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed. Hey, uh, Mr. Fantar, Allah, he have two hands. Can you tell me where are they located? Are you there, Fantar? Allah has two hands. Where we can find them? Any Muslim want to help us? Did you hear Allah? Did you hear the Muslim cleric saying, Allah has two hands? Question, what do you do with the hands? You Muslim, you say how you worship a man, right? Okay, why he the man? He have, a, he have a look of a man, he have a shape of a man, he have hands, correct? Okay, that is Jesus supposedly. Your God have two hands. What do you do with them? And why two? Why not four? Why not 20? Is that ring a bell for you? Does it sound like a human being? I mean, he have two hands. What about legs? He have two legs. Is that a goat? And how you know they are hands? How we knew that those are not legs? Are you saying what? Uh, you fool Allah is known as Al Hay. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, look at this genius. He refuted me. Allah is known as Al Hay. That's mean he's alive. 
This is what Muhammad said. Prove it to me. How come he is alive, but he never spoke to Muhammad? Which verse in the Quran saying that Allah, he spoke to Muhammad and Muhammad, he heard his voice? Guys, is that fair? Is that fair? You will notice that Jesus in the Bible, he do not need revelation from God to give it to us. He is the revelation. He is the walking, talking, living word of God, which is God himself on earth. Muhammad the Muslim, they say he received revelation. Did he receive it from God? The answer, no. They say he received it from an angel. His name is Jibreel. Okay. Did Allah send Jibreel to Moses? No. Did Allah send Jibreel to Abraham? No. Did Allah send Jibreel to Jacob? No. Isaac? No. I'm talking about your religion now. So in your religion, Allah never sent Jibreel to anyone. He spoke to them. In the case of Muhammad, Allah is not there. Why? There's one of two interpretation for this. Muhammad, he never heard of God. He is just a fabricator. Or Muhammad is not important to the point Allah don't want to talk to him. He talked to Isaac. He talked to Jacob. He talked to Abraham. He talked to Moses. He talked, according to you, even he talked to Isa. In the Quran, only one place, Allah, he sent Jibreel to Mary. She's not a prophet. Okay. So why Allah, he don't send Jibreel to all the prophet, but he sent Jibreel to Muhammad and he never spoke to Muhammad. Anyone? I'm saying your prophet don't speak to God. Prove it to me. I'm saying your prophet don't speak to God. And this is clear that he have no God and he is fabricating his stories. Otherwise, how come he don't speak to him? If this God who Muhammad called him Allah is exist and he is alive, how come this alive God is dead? He don't talk. Let me show you something. And I wish Dangalo will, get, will give me the honor to receive a call from him. Dangalo. You pray five times a day, worshiping Allah, saying the word Al-Fatiha, correct? Do you know how Muhammad got Al-Fatiha? Hey people, do you know how Muhammad got the Fatiha? I don't know how many of you learn from me. How Muhammad get Al-Fatiha? When he was doing poo Have you ever heard that there is a God, he delivered his message to his prophet during the poo period? And the prophet, each time he hear the voice of the angel, he run and he's pant between his legs. Is that true? This is a chapter one, verse number one, and this is the book of Asbab al Nuzul, which means the reason for the verse to come down. This is not me saying, this is not Christian Prince, I'm reading your books, don't be upset from me. It says here that each time the Tabarraza Rasul, Tabarraza, he get out to do pupu. Buraz, ask any Muslim what Buraz mean. Buraz mean to do shit. Excuse my language. So each time the Prophet he do out, he go out to do Buraz. What he happened? Read carefully. The Messenger of Allah, may Allah bless him and give him peace. Whenever he went out, look, the translation doesn't say clearly. He says, went out. The fact it says, Baraza. He went out to do what? To do Biraz. He used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. <laughs> have you ever heard of a prophet like this question to the Muslims why he flee and now Muhammad doing poo and the angel he said to him oh Muhammad Muhammad if he flee why
Let me Muslim can tell me. This is Muhammad who became a prophet already, been squeezed already. The angel he squeezed him and shake him already many times. He received many chapter already. Why he is afraid? Any Muhammadan? No answer. So what you say to me, Allah is alive, we're alive, show me. How this can be a prophet of God? He flee? And then what? Then the guy, the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of his wife, he said to him, Waraka, he said to him, which is really the real, I believe this is the real father of Muhammad. He said, to, he advised him to remain in his place when the caller call him. Like, what the heck? So if this guy did not ask him, say, Muhammad, come on, sit down next time so we can hear what he want. Muhammad will be fleeing until now and you will not have the chapter of Al-Fatiha. So the guy was saying you need to study two hours a day of the Quran is enough to find that Muhammad, he received his Quran during Pupu time and he flee. By the way, I hear voices. How Muhammad he received revelation? Are you there, the Muslims who listen to me? Look at them, look at them. They don't have an answer. How Muhammad he received revelation? You say that Allah, he sent his angel, right? Okay. How he received his revelation? Is it true that Muhammad he received revelation as a sound of a bell? Read. Read carefully and laugh. Muhammad, he received what? He received revelation. How? A sound of a bell. Who is a Muslim here can explain to me how we can believe in such a stupid thing. If Muhammad here received a sound of a bell, how that became Arabic Quran? Huh? Any Muslim? I will make it simple for you. I am Prophet Muhammad now, I'm receiving Quran. Okay, this is the chapter one of the Quran. This is the chapter of the cow. Now listen carefully to the question, how the ring of the bell became Arabic Quran? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? So his God gave him ring of bell, tarudam, tarudam. Muhammad, he recite for you Arabic Quran. Any smart Muslim in the bushes? Look at them. And now they will ask you, Jesus is not God. Okay, Jesus is not God. Okay, Abdul, focus with me. Jesus is not God. Okay, uh, that is not, not God. Jesus is not God. Uh, I mean, like, maybe Muhammad, he have a microwave. Like, he take, he take uh, the word of Allah as a ring, and it come out from the other side cooked, and it's Arabic. Uh, look at this guy. Islam is the best religion, and he is saying to me, you are a joke. Ah, I don't know. 
people are people are laughing but you can tell me nothing about what <laughs> let us see what a joke the joke my friend that there's a God he promised you in this penis listen listen how you can walk with it remember that penis is in front of you it's not a tail like if it's a tail I can say you can drag it behind you but an endless penis that is in the front of you who's going to carry it are you going to drag it in the front of you and you are talking about a joke imagine you receive a gift from God, his name is Allah, La Yo Yo God, and then they receive a phone call from a Chinese government, you know, communist. They, fine. Okay, I will translate for you now because I receive a ring of a bell. Uh, uh, sir, Muhammad, you need to move your penis immediately because you are blocking our train station, railway, and the airport, and the traffic. And the people, they cannot go to work for your penis is all over China. It's endless. And you are talking about a joke. I'm really convinced that there's a God. If I believe in him, he will make the penis endless. And guys, imagine if we can have some contract with like cable companies. You know, we can run cable TV to the, the second galaxy, seven galaxy. We do not need wireless no more. For, I mean, and you can use it as a, a oil pi a pipe. Like you drink oil, you, you, you piss oil in the other side. <laughs> very good idea, very good idea. You know, it's good for investment. And we are talking about jokes. Let us go back to the question, which none of them they can answer. Uh, hold on, hold on, you know. I'm going to make the Muslims happy. They are happy. They're upset from me. I will show them an amazing miracle, which yesterday we discover, which nobody can do. Nobody, nobody can do. Oh, not this guy again. Come on. Uh, hey, this guy. Guys, I will show you a proof that the prophet was a prophet. Look what he did. Unbelievable. وما كنت تتلو من قبله من كتاب وما تخطه بيمينك النبي الأمي you know he doesn't know how to read now when someone does not know how to read the word alif doesn't make any sense the word lam doesn't make any sense the word mim doesn't make any sense because these are letters of the alphabet and the only people who learn the alphabet are people who learn how to what? read so the first thing that was given in the surah is reminding you that the messenger himself والسلام, has no clue how to read and yet out of his mouth comes the word alif lam mim which is impossible for someone who doesn't read it's impossible it's impossible for someone to not know how to read to repeat the alphabet he cannot say alif you cannot say a you cannot say l you can't say M, only Muhammad can do that. It's a miracle. I mean, do you see how they fabricate anything about this guy to worship him? This one is a miracle. It's impossible for someone who do not know how to write, how to read. But you eat, he speak, he used the language already. He used those letters all his life. His name is Muhammad. Are you saying your prophet, he don't use his name? Because the letter M is there. How we can do that? It's impossible. Uh, explain to us more. I did not get it yet. I'm like, you know, I'm not, I'm slow. In the beginning of the surah, what are the first words? Alif, Lam, Mim, Thalik al Kitab. Thalik al Kitab. What does Alif, Lam, Mim mean, people? Just carefully. We heard him saying that for someone who does not know how to write, how to read, Alif and Lam and Mim, it doesn't make sense. But he will tell you that doesn't make sense to them until now. <laughs> What does it mean? ALM? ALM? Yeah, all lies matter. What does it mean? What does it mean? Allah, Allah knows. Look how many times he asked the question. What does it mean? What does it mean? ALM? Huh? ALM? Huh? And then he followed. He said, only Allah knows. 
Is that a circus? Is that a joke? Is that a religion? So now you're trying to convince me that Muhammad is unique and he was able to recite ALM, which is surprisingly to be done by Muhammad. I mean, are you saying your prophet was so stupid to the point he cannot repeat letters? A letter he used every day in his life for the last 40 years? A language he speak? How he can repeat them? Doesn't make sense. It's impossible. We don't know. We don't know. You know why that's important? For many reasons. Hmm. One of the reasons is that before you study the Quran, the first thing you need to know is that you don't know anything. <coughs> Brother and sisters, before you study the Quran, you need to know that you know nothing. Okay? So what is this lecture is about? If all of you, you know nothing, and Allah knows best, so why you are there? To make a mockery of your prophet and make us laugh? <sighs> Somebody saying, Jesus or Barnabas was on the cross. This is a Muslim. Let us get him busted. I like this question. If you go in the Bible, it says Jesus the Christ. Crucify him, the one who called himself Christ. So this is number one answer for you. But as long as you are Abdul, who copy paste questions, just to show you how stupid those who question the Bible when they are Muslims. I will go to the Quran and get you busted there. What the Jews they said when they crucified Jesus? We called Isa the son of Mary, the Messiah. So they confirm many things in the same time. Number one, his name. Number two, he's a son of who? Number three, he is the messenger of God. So when you say the Barnabas, you idiot, you are just going against the Quran. And the Bible is so clear speaking about that they killed the one who claimed to be the son of God read carefully and laugh at your question copy paste nation and they said we killed the Christ Jesus the son of Mary the messenger of Allah so when you're a fool like you you say oh they did not kill the Jews they were not really crucifying Jesus the son of Mary, you are lying about your Quran and you are saying Allah, he was a stupid because Allah, he said that the Jews said we killed a, a, a like an, an exact person. His name is what? His name is, according to Quran, his name is Isa. He is a son of Mary and he is a messenger of Allah. And yet you are asking me who they killed in the cross. Silly, potato. Too much camera urine. Are you going now to spit at the Quran? So you copy paste each other words and you go around with it. it says, oh, there's a guy, his name is Barnabas. He was in the cross too. But the Bible says clearly that Jesus said to him, the one who believe in me, he will be, would be today in heaven. So why you are silly and you are stupid? Why? Why they are years taking over you? You can tell us about it. Okay. Next. Who is the next victim? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are not done yet. What were you talking about? We want to hear the rest of this. I mean, I cannot wait, my friend. Do you understand, Sir Shazam? Are you already saying the Roman called Jesus king of the Jews? They actually meant that. And no. Thank you very much for saying that. Thank you. Thank you very much for saying that. Again, you got yourself busted. When the Roman, they put a sign in the top of the Messiah, they are talking about a specific person who he 
is the king of the Jews and he is the king of kings. So they are making fun of him. But this is again refute your Muslim when you say it was not Jesus on the cross. Because no other person there was claiming to be the son of God, the king of kings, except Christ the Messiah. And here we ask you the same question. Do Allah hate Jesus? Let us prove to Muslims and to the Christians that Allah, he hates Jesus. Your prophet said that the most hateful person to Allah is the one who called himself the king of king. All the Christians they knew that this is a term or let us say a sentence used to describe Jesus. And you will notice here, Allah, he claimed that he is the king of kings. So the God of Muhammad claiming to replace Jesus. I am Allah, whom there is no God, master of king, king of kings. And what else? Let us continue. Again, Allah claiming to be Jesus. Again, Allah claiming to be Jesus. Again, Allah claiming to be Jesus. Okay. Now let us see the verse or the place where it says, Allah, he hate Jesus. He hate the one who say, I am the king of kings. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to find the hadith. Let us see, hold on. Mm. Oh, here we go. It's very clear and very obvious that the Quran, Muhammad, Islam is an antichrist cult. Let us see. I'm trying to find it for you in English. I have it in Arabic in front of me, but I want to find it in English. Here we go. The most disgraceful man near to Allah, near Allah, is a man who called himself Malik wa Muluk, the King of Kings. Do you see it? That is the devil Allah. He hate Jesus. Who's next? Who's next? And actually, you notice that all the attribute is given to Allah. The good ones are names stolen from the names of Jesus. As an example, Jesus is the resurrection. That's what Jesus said 600 years ago. I am the life. Muhammad, he took it, give it to his God. I am the resurrection. Muhammad, he took it, give it to his God. I am the truth. Muhammad took it, give it to his God. I am the light of the world. And yet the Muslim, they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. I mean, a person saying to you, I am the light of the world. Is Muhammad the light of the world? Is Muhammad is the life? Is he the truth? Or those all Muslim, you say those are attribute to Allah. Well, Jesus, he said, those are his attribute. 600 years before your moon god exists. Now I'm serious. Who is a Muslim have the courage to call me? Anyone? Who is a brave Muslim? He got the courage to call me. What is those guys, Dengalo? Why you are in the chat? Don't you want people to hear you?
Anyone? And actually, I will change the whole topic for you. I will not even ask you a question. You call me and you show me a proof. There's no question about it that Muhammad is from God. Or your God does exist. Anyone can do it? I'm not going to ask you. You tell me whatever you want. I mean, if, even, this, uh, even this one you are scared of, I will not ask you any question. You tell me what the topic. You tell me I want to prove to you that Muhammad is a prophet, Allah is God, and we go from there. No question. The Muslim made an article about how to debate Christian prince. They said if you ask, if a Christian prince said to you the prophet is good, don't say yes, don't say no, because even if he's saying he is good, you know, if you say yes, he will get you busted. If you say no, he'll get you busted. Whatever he say to you, don't say yes, don't say no. That's why they don't dare to call. Uh, by the way, there's many kings in the past called king of kings, which only applies to Allah. Uh, okay. Yeah, but you see, just here we go. Again, you prove to me that your, your, your prophet is an idiot because your God, he mentioned that there's only one who will call himself the king of kings. That is the false messiah. Idiot. That is a day in the judgment day, idiot. Ignorant, didn't know what they're saying. You know, I feel sorry for the Muslims. They are like, like a bunch of guys sitting in front of my screen and they are looking for boogers in their nose and how we can answer Christian prince. And they are so nervous. And now he says, this is many king of kings. You just lied because your prophet is saying, no, there's only one person. He will come only in the judgment day and he call himself the king of kings. So based on what you said, there's many people they are called king of kings in the history, according to you. Your prophets say, no, there's only one person will come in the day of judgment. So keep digging for your boogers and we laugh. The more you dig, the more we find the treasure. And this is why you don't dare to call me because you know whatever you say, I'm going in a second. You see, I'm not a person who need to go study, search Google, blah, blah, blah. this is what you do. None of you are, all those who want to debate the Christians, they don't know anything about the religion, they don't know about ours. They search Google, choose a topic for us, two months in, the, in, the, in advance, two months in advance. Why? Because you want to go search Google, copy, memorize, go to the debate. You have no knowledge. I do not need to prepare. Here we go, I'm here. Who wanna challenge me? I do not need two months to prepare. Who can do it? Listen to this guy and laugh then. The guy who is claiming that he is teaching you about God, he is making mockery of your God. I mean, how in the world those people explain the Quran for you? One guy, he opened umbrella, Allah will do ejaculation. The other guy, he refuted him, yes, Allah will do ejaculation. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? And then they get upset if I say the word is stupid or idiot. I mean, are you sure? people like like Jay makes me realize why there are still people who believe the earth is flat you know when you hmm. he's wondering why there's some people still believe the earth is flat but this is your religion and this is your prophet do you see the hypocrisy they are denying that all the Quran saying the earth is a flat and their prophet in the hadith saying the earth is a flat and they pray in the direction of Mecca because the earth is a flat and Allah he come in the third part of the night because the earth is a flat Any Muslim? Anyway, I you know, forget about Muslim, man. I, I, I decide to share with you some of my knowledge. Finally, you know, I want to tell you something, a secret. This is just between us, okay? I mean, come on. Please don't share it with anyone. This is just keep it between, between me and you. And yo-yo. 
you know, yo-yo, the God yo-yo, because he keep coming up, coming down, coming up, coming down. So, you know, you and me and yo-yo. We can't hide anything from yo-yo. I mean, put that in your mind always, right? Okay, so if we go to, let us see which chapter. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, let us go to chapter, uh, no, not the yo-yo one. Forget about the yo-yo one. Let us go to the yee. -yi. No, not the yee. -yi. I mean, come on, this is boring. We need something more attractive, you know? Um, well, which one, which one? You know, we need something just for entertainment purpose. Uh, which one which one by the way if you read the names with me you will die laughing there's a chapter it's called the chapter of the fig can you believe it I miss eating fig the chapter of the fig there's a chapter it's called the chapter of the dish <coughs> okay oh let us see hold on Where, which one will go uh, the chapter of the genie the chapter of the pen the chapter of the classroom, the chapter of the moon, the chapter of the star. Which one I will show you? The chapter of the smoke. How many of you smoke? Come on, be honest. Smoky, smoky. Huh? Kuffar. Uh, I'm really not sure what, which one I will, I will share with you. Because all of them, they are so beautiful. And they are... Look, okay, I'll, let me share with you this, with this one with you. The, the but why I'm opening it here? I want to open it here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to tell you a story now before we go to sleep, which all of you, you will enjoy. And this is coming directly from Allah. It's hot, it's fresh, and it is true. All right? Once upon the time, Okay, are you ready guys? Did you get your... Uh, did you get your... Popcorn and corn pop and paparino. Okay, we need some uh, like a special effect uh, to help us. So once upon the time, there was an ant. And this ant was in charge of security. Prophet Solomon, peace be upon him. He was walking down straight. And he heard the ant talking. Now all of you would wonder what the ant was saying. Which language the ant was talking? Brothers and sisters, it's way more complicated than this. It's extremely complicated. Scientists, they study for centuries trying to understand what the ant is saying. They use microphone, they put cameras, they study behavior, sexual behavior too. They have books about how the ant have sex. You wanna believe it how ants have sex? Unbelievable. <laughs> like, yeah. So, and they study a lot and they could not figure out, but there we have the Quran. Suleiman walking, he arrived to the valley of the ants. And then he heard one ant. She was saying to the other ants, hide, hide, otherwise Solomon will crush you. And brothers and sisters, everybody knows that Solomon, his shoes is so big. He has a big foot guy. I mean, 
Prophet Adam was 90 cubit long tall. Some they say 36. It depends on the storyteller. So she told them, hide. Hide, you idiot, before Solomon crush you. And look what happened. This is a true story from the true God, Allah. And here you notice with me how cute Allah is. I mean, all of us, we watch cartoon. All, Allah, all of us, we like cartoon. This is the God of the cartoon himself speaking to us. He go to his office. He said, this is important topic. I need to talk about it. I cannot hide it. It is something happened centuries and centuries and centuries ago. It is time. It is time for all mankind to know such an important event. What the ant, she said to the other ant. And Solomon was Dawud higher. And he said, O oh men, we have been taught the language of the birds. Look at this. Suleiman is the only one who will learn the language of the birds. Allah taught him the language of the birds. So the Muslims are proud that Muhammad was able to repeat ALM. But yet Allah have time to teach Suleiman the language of the birds. I mean, do you notice the miracle? The Prophet, brother, the Prophet Muhammad, he repeated ALM. It's impossible. Those are alphabet. You cannot repeat Alif, Lam, ALM. You cannot. And here we have a prophet. His God taught him the language of the chickens. And hold on. So the prophet, he been taught the language of the birds by Allah. So how he understand the ants? Like what? I learned the language of the bird, yet yet I can understand the ant. I learned the language of English, but yet I can speak Rasan. I learned the language of the German, but yet I know Chinese. Uh, what is that, man? So you taught the guy the language of the birds, and later he heard an ant talking. Okay, let it go, let it go. So. And we have been taught the language of the bird, and we have been given all things. Like what? Like what? Most surely this is manifest grace. And his host of the jinn, look at this guy. His slaves, his servants are genie. Like, do you know the genie in the bar? Like the, the candle, you like you, Alibaba? This is Alibaba. Here, Suleiman is Ali. And the genie is Baba. So Suleiman, every day, he have a lot of containers. He wiped them out. The genie come out. He said to him, Master, what do you want? Suleiman, he says, I want, uh, I want, uh, you know, Suleiman was old, like, you know, and he could not answer really. So he said to him, you know the thing. So the genie, he go and bring him all the things. Because he just told him, you know the thing, like Joe Biden, you know? You know the thing? And the, the genie like, oops, what, what, what he just said? He, he wanted me to bring him the thing. Which thing? You know the thing? What? You know the thing? Anyway, so Allah, he made the genie subjugated to Suleiman. This is a true story, brother. I mean, we were talking about science an hour ago, right? This is a true story. Okay. And then the men and the birds gathered to him. What? Birds are gathered to him. We have to be somehow thinking about it. How that can be possible?
The reason I love commercial. Okay. This is a true religion book. An army of a chicken. Takbir, jihad, and all the chicken follow. Endless army of a chicken. Brother, invasion. <laughs> true story. This is a true story. It's proven scientifically, and this is true. Somebody saying, "Can the can uh, uh, Johnson? Okay, uh, you know Johnson. Why you don't call me? I will make you read the verse you you are saying. The the, the donkey was talking. It says, the, you see, Muslims they lie in everything. It says that God he used the mouth of the donkey. It's not the donkey is talking." At the same time, I can show you your prophet speaking to his donkey. His name is Yafur, and he asked him, do you like sex with females? Do you like females? <laughs> so don't lie. Pause the verse as it is, and people will laugh at you. Read carefully. And then, until he came to the valley of the ants, and one of the ants, she said, Enter your horses, that Suleiman and his host may not crush you. You know what is killing me in this story? Not all this story. I mean, the story makes sense, all of it. But there's only one thing make me confused. How the ant she knew the name of Suleiman? Any Muslim? Okay, I get it, that the ant, she speak, okay, by the way, ants are deaf and mute, they don't talk. They talk in a way of communication, yes, they use vibration and chemical, they don't talk, they don't use really a sound of words. So when the Quran says he heard their speech, that is a joke. But how she knew that his name is Suleiman? Do you think that she knew how to read and how to write, and maybe Suleiman, he had like a name in his badge, like his uniform? I am Suleyman. How she knew that? And here there is something more interesting about this story. Any Muslim? If you are free right now, I want to call you. Uh, yeah, you can call me if you are a Muslim, no problem. You can text me first, <clears throat> only if you are a Muslim. So what do you think, Muslims? Is that a true story? Anyone? First of all, what is the interest of this God to tell us this story? I mean, what we learn from this story? You see, the story about Jesus being crucified, there's only one verse in the Quran speaking about it. One verse. Which one is deserved from this God to give it time? Long article about the ant and how he heard the ant. What we learn from this? And the story of Jesus, which is affecting billions of a human being, you make one verse about it, they did not crucify him. Tell us what happened. Pal talk, pal talk. Any Muslim can tell us what this is. I mean, we are talking about God, and God is talking. This is not a prophet of God talking about a story. You know, you see, like when somebody, like somebody, quote for me uh, the story of Balaam in the Old Testament. Uh, well, this is the man telling a story about what happened to a prophet of God. It's a man talking. So a man giving us details about something happened in history. No problem. This is God. What we learn from this story, 
Anything else? Anything else special? So Allah, he taught him the language of the birds, but yet he understand the language of the ants, and the ant don't talk. And he heard their voice. The word in Arabic is so clear that Suleiman, he heard her words. It says, قَالَتِ النَّمْلَ قَالَتْ قَالَتْ means she said, she spoke. But ants don't talk. And they don't have such a ability. They are deaf. Because you see, when you say قَالَتْ and he heard her, he heard what? This is a story taken from a book. It's called The Legion of the Jews. You can go right now and search this for free. There's a collection for the Legion of the Jews made by a Jewish person about legions the Jews they used to believe in for, you know, I mean, they did it, let's say they did it to their kids about Suleiman and David and etc. The foolish Muhammad, he heard the Jews saying this, he put it in the Quran. No problem, Mr. Salam. You are welcome. Any Muslim? And then in the verse after he says, he smiled wondering of her words. Do you see the word word? Do you see it? He wondered from her words, the end she said words. He heard her words. Are you serious? Anyone? And then the story continue. And then he found that the hoop hoop is not there. Who is Mr. Hoopoo? Hupu is simply brothers and sisters, is what? Is a minister of water and women finding. He is the west, he is the minister of irrigation and spine for Suleiman. Anyone remember something funny about this verse? About the hoopoo, the hoop, the hoopoo. Huh? Hey, Mayor Khan, you see, you want to use bad language, my friend, I will block you. And uh, people will laugh at you. I blocked you now. Huh. Are you happy? Speak nice and I will talk to you like a man. You use the word SHIT. This is not nice. Allah name. We use only one name of Allah. Allah. Don't use the other names, please. So, Solomon, he have a bird who is in charge of finding for him women who have no hair in their legs and he can find water. Even water under the ground. Anyone remember the story here? Anyone remember? There's a guy, he was speaking to uh, why some Muslim is threatening to kill you and hate you. My friend, uh, Mr. Salam, you are a Muslim, right? I don't want to change the topic about who you want to kill me. The one who want to there to kill me, come and kill me. Don't ask me those silly questions. I assume you are a Muslim, you want to debate me. If you want to say silly stuff, I have no time for this. Yeah, they threat me, they want to kill me. Well, so who cares? Even if you kill me, I will be more successful because people read my books more and they will watch my videos more and I will be remembered by my Lord first, forever, and then people will remember me too. I fear no death. Trust me, someone who say what he's saying, he fear no one. If I fear, I will, not be, I will never be here. So listen, guys. 
if you remember in the interpretation for the verse, they asked Ibn Abbas about this bird. He said he is a bird who he can find water even under the ground. This is why Allah, he gave him this bird. Okay. Then a guy, an Arab guy, Bedouin, he said, but how come this is, can be true that if a kid, he put some seed in a trap and he hide the trap in a dust, we can capture the bird. How come he cannot see the trap? Do you remember? And then Ibn Abbas, he cursed him. He said, may Allah cut your throat. May Allah make you sis kebab. May Allah make you hummus. And then the guy, he said, okay, okay, okay. I promise you, I will never question the book of Allah. Is that a true Muslims or are making things up? Is that true? Let us see if we can find it in English. Chapter 27, verse number 20. Okay, let us see. If they tell the story about Ibn Abbas. Mujahid Ibn Jubair said from Ibn Abbas, listen, listen carefully, Ibn Abbas and others that the hope, Hupu was an expert who used to show Suleiman water was if he was out in the open land and needed water. The hoopu would look for the water for him in various satarta of the earth, just as a man look for things on the surface of the earth and would know just how far below the surface the water. Look, this guy, he have an x-ray. He can see down, 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 down how deep the water is. He can give you like, okay, Solomon, dig here. We have like 20 down meter, 50 meter, there's water. True story. Okay. And by the way, even, the, even this one, the Muslim, they made false article about it, that this bird can see down the earth water. Okay. When Hupu showed him where the water, Suleiman would command the jinn, look, look who is the one who dig for the water, the genie. <laughs> to dig in the place until they brought the water from the depth of the earth. One day, Suleiman, he went uh, uh, to, to some open land and checked the birds, but he could not find the hoopoo. So he said, how come I don't see the hoopoo? Okay. Hmm. Read carefully about the story here, get him more excited. Uh, one day, Abdullah ibn, uh, ibn Abbas told a similar story. And among the people was a man from the Khawarij. He's a Muslim. Whose name, An Nafi ibn Az 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 Azraq, who often used to raise objection to Ibn Abbas. Look at this guy, smart Abdul. He said to him, stop Ibn Abbas, stop. Which means stop your lies, man. You will be defeated, which means an argument. Today, uh oh, the guy suddenly he said to him, I'm going to get you busted, Ibn Abbas, with your lies and the lies of your Prophet of Allah. Ibn Abbas said, Why, Nafia? Why? He said, You are telling us that the hoopoe can find, can see water be beneath the ground. But, a bo but any boy can put seed in a trap and cover the trap with dirt and then the hoopoe will come and take the seed. So the boy can catch him in a trap. Oops. Oops. So this guy, the, this bird, he can see water for 50, 100 meter down. But he cannot see that there is a trap. The Muslim story got busted in the time of Muhammad. Look what Ibn Abbas, he answered him back. Ibn Abbas said to him, If it was not the fact that this man would go and tell others that he defeated Ibn Abbas in argument, 
I would not even answer. So now Abbas is going to answer. That's it. Because he was afraid, he would go and say, I defeated Ibn Abbas. And look at the answer. Then he said to Ibn Abbas, look at the refutation. Who will you win the clear strike a person? His eyes became blind and lose caution. What is the answer? He's cursing the guy. You see the refutation? I mean, who can refute like this? He was afraid if you don't refute him, the guy, he will go around and say, I defeated Ibn Abbas. And now Ibn Abbas, he decided to defeat him. So he said, Will you win the decree, strike a person, his eyes become blind? The guy was like, oh, hold on, hold on, why are you cursing me, man? Look what would happen. And then the guy, he said, I mean, I, I, this guy, Nafi, I get scared. He said, by Allah, I will never dispute with you concerning anything in the Quran. <laughs> and this is how the Muslims win the argument. Isn't it amazing? So please, remember one thing. Muslim can win the argument by cursing you. The guy, he got Ibn Abbas busted. How this bird can see water under the ground for many, many distance down deep in the earth, but yet he cannot see that there's a trap waiting for him by made by a kid. The answer is coming, brother. The refutation is coming. I curse you. I gave you the link, by the way, if you like to read it, if you like to save it. I want to say, guys, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Uh, we love you all. Uh, I cannot say I love you all. I'm afraid. There's some crazy women right there. If I say love you all, they will go after me. No, I don't love you all, okay? <laughs> you know, have you ever heard, uh, have you ever suffered from uh, somebody is obsessed with you? I suffer from this. There's some people are weird. They are obsessed. Unbelievable. It makes me sick sometimes, honestly. But what we can say, it is the, <clears throat> uh, it's what? It is uh, the result of being you, which is me. Anyway, thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you soon again, maybe tomorrow, maybe not. We don't know. Maybe one day we will see. Until then, Christ is our Lord. He is our Savior. And as you see, Islam is nothing but a joke. Don't forget to download the videos. As you know, we don't save them for long for security purpose. As you know, thank you, God bless you, and see you soon again. Take care.